Hey guys, uh, sorry for that weird transition. Uh, I need to twist the iPod around so that I can film in HD. So, um, I guess, you know, half a second of weird transition for HD video. I think that's a legitimate sacrifice. Uh, yeah. So this is my Supermax 1500. I purchased this off Dimeback Nightfinder, who, whom he originally contracted from Ryan McNumbers. Great sellers, both of them. Uh, definitely recommended. Ryan's already probably the most contracted nerfer in the NIC. He does great stuff. There's really, I mean, it, if you don't know who he is in terms of nerf, you're sad. And then DB's cool guy. Um, when shipping this, I think he had it returned back to his house for uh, some reasons. So because of that, he sent it priority. And then uh, sent it with confirmation number and insurance, which is awesome. Um, so, yeah, this is the Supermax 1500 that I got from him. Uh, it was painted and modified. The paint job is, uh, purple on, uh, the main shell, as well as this turret piece, which is, it's an awesome purple. Um, so, yeah. Uh, modifications don't do it are footlong fetchy barrels, two spacers, uh, this is to give the turret some strength because with only one you can still bend the barrels it's not that good um, and in the back of each piece this is what I did I actually took off the original pet G slider for the rear loading and I put 17 30 seconds brass back there so when I rear load when I push my dart in uh, it doesn't fall back out so that's the reason why I did that it's very useful um, it only, it's only really significant on this one piece, but I don't want to crank the turret and then squish a dart, so I just said, you know what, I'll just do it to all the barrels, so, um, reload time is very fast because of this rear loading slot, um, as well as the fact that it's rear loading, it's rear loading, uh, Ryan McNumber style with the epoxy putty and the, uh, I think it's two washers to seal it. This is the worst one. And uh, it's great. Yeah, this one's a little. Yeah, this one's a little weird, but uh, I can get used to that one. Um, and then I cut a new uh, rear loading slot out of Pet G, and um, it's it's really it's fairly clean. It. Um, I sanded it, super glued it, and then what I did was I took another piece of the pet G the pipe and I set it in there because I super glued some of the edges and that that let it out so that my dart is still fairly loose in the slide and uh, it there's no gap which is good um, the trigger firing pin uh, was also glued for a farther trigger pull it's not faster you just pull the firing pin out farther and sooner uh, faster is the wrong adjective. Um, the tank was replaced by an airflow modded 2K tank, and the pump was replaced by a Hornet pump. So four solid pumps. The pump is kind of hard. It must be some sort of lubricant issue. I can open it up and do it. And the release is very nice, um, as you can see. Uh, yeah, it's very powerful. Hits ranges of over 100 feet flat. Um, I think with good darts, with slug darts too, this is a slug dart and I'm shooting like seven feet away, yeah, it shoots hard. Um, yeah, it's a fun gun to use, um, Ryan does not contract these anymore, so don't go and ask him, because, um, that's not cool, but yeah, very fun gun overall. Uh, great ranges, great reliability. Um, it this one has an awesome seal, uh, 100%. I'm not going to show it because, um, well, I don't need to. But yeah, that's my Supermax 1500, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed.